Okay, we can see slowly but surely our examples are getting a little bit by a little bit more complicated. But I do want you to be reassured that it's really simple if we if we simply uh, make an effort to try and get this expression for each term. We can see we don't have an it's, it's so the idea is to get kx to the power of n for every expression. Here we don't have that. We've got two x's. But that's not a problem because we can write it as 7x to the power of 6 times x to the power of a half. And same with this one, we can have plus 4x to the power of negative 2, x to the power of negative a half. Okay, it's still not my single base with exponent. But again, that's not a problem because we know that when bases are multiplied, same bases, we can add up the exponents. So what we have is 6 and a half. That means it's x. 6 and a half is 13 over 2. Okay. Plus 4. And this becomes negative 2 and a half. So this is... So I'm just adding these exponents. And uh, you could have had it as negative 2 and a half or... I'm going to make it negative 5 over 2. Okay, whichever way you're just adding 6 and a half. I, I want it to be a, a mixed number. I prefer that. Okay, but it's up to you. And now we find the derivative. Multiply this to the front. 7 times 13. Well, 7 times 12 is 84. Plus another 7, that's 91 over 2 x to the power of, now we have to subtract 1. So to subtract 1, we'll subtract 2 over 2 to give me 11 over 2. Okay. And then plus. And this one will become, well, that will actually become negative because I have negative 5 times 4. That will be negative 20 uh, over 2. Okay, and x to the power of, and now we have to subtract 1 again, so we'll subtract 2 over 2, because that's the same as 1. That will give me negative 7 times x to the power of negative 7 over 2. Okay, and uh, now we can see if we have to write it without the fractional and negative exponents, we will have 91 over 2, let's just leave it like that, 91 over 2 x to the power, so this must become the square root of x to the power of 11. Minus, okay, 20 divided by 2 will be 10. And this time we see we've got a negative exponent, so we're going to the denominator. x to the power of 7 over 2, and over 2 means square root, so it's the square root of x to the power of 7. And there it is. Okay, now if you wanted to get back in a format like that, for example, okay, what we'll have to do is we'll have to break this and that one up into x to the power of 10 times x to the power of 1. And this one will become x to the power of 6 times x to the power of 1. Now we can take the square root of x to the power of 10, that would be. 91 over 2, the square root of x to the power of 10, and we just divide the exponent, so that becomes x to the power of 5 times the square root of x minus 10 over, and the square root of this one, that would be x to the power of 3 times the square root of x to the power of 1. Okay, it looks it looks like we could have easily found that by just kind of almost ignoring these ones. Okay, just subtracting one from the exponent, subtracting one there, or well, adding one because it's in the denominator. Um, but the problem is actually finding the coefficient. Because you can see 6 times 7 is not 91 over 2. Okay, so we do have to go and uh, first convert it into coefficient, base x, and exponent. And uh, yeah, just follow that. I promise you, you'll always get it right. See you around.